Hello everyone. This hour on Verbling, the next in my pronunciation basic series. In today's class, we're going to be practicing with the short sound of I, the I sound. So this is going to be a review of the very first class we did and some extra practice to help you master the position that you need to get your tongue in, in your mouth, to make this sound in English. It's actually one of the more difficult sounds in English, American or British. In pronunciation basics, we look at individual vowel and consonant sounds, like the E versus I, as in sheep and ship, or the SH versus CH, as in she's and she's. All levels are welcome in this class. That's a little bit about the class, and here's a bit about me. I'm John Eric, your verbling teacher for this hour, and I'm an American teacher hanging out from Lisbon, Portugal, to bring you this class. Here are three quick rules to help you participate. Turn off, tune in, and open up. And that means turn off your microphone when you're not speaking. That way we'll cut down on the background noise. By the way, after you click join and you're inside the Google Hangout, go back and close the verbling window or we will hear an echo. Try to remember that or at least turn off the sound in verbling. Rule number two, tune in to the new words you're going to learn. In this case, it's going to be sounds, but same basic idea. Use what you're learning actively in the class. Make a deliberate effort to put it into practice. And rule three is open up to your classmates. Relax and have fun. We're all here to learn. We're all respectful, and this is a safe and respectful place to practice your English. OK, so one last thing. On the third page of the John Eric Verbling Info PDF, the one that I'm, I, gotta, I have to mute the sound there for a second, everyone, because I'm getting a lot of uh, background noise from somebody. I don't know who it is. So I'll turn your mics back on in just a second, OK? Um, on the third page of the John Eric Verbling Info PDF, the one that I posted for you under class material, um, you have all my links in one place. So you can follow me on Verbling on the left, read a tweet on the right. You can interact with me on Facebook and Google Plus in the middle. Watch one of my classes on my YouTube channel at the bottom, or even schedule a private class with me. So that's a little bit, ooh, can't see anything here. That's a little bit about, there we go. <laughs> That's a bit about me, and now I want to hear a little bit about you. So you can turn on your... Oh, someone's got a microphone problem. I can't tell who that is. Ooh, very loud. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's turn on our mics one at a time so I can see where the problem is. So, Anario, I don't think it was you. You Hi, sound you. good. Hi, how are you? Raquel, can you turn on your mic a second? Yes. Okay. Hello? You sound good, okay. Uh, Vu, can you turn on your mic? Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, very good. You sound oh. all right. Oh, I've got two Vus. Why do I have, <laughs> why do I have two? There's only oh, one Vu per class. That's our rule in verbling, only one Vu at a time. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. So let's go with the Vu with the little till over the U. So... How do I say, oh, I'm definitely getting uh, feedback from somebody. Everyone, make sure you're wearing headphones and make sure that the all the windows are closed except this Google Hangout, okay? Otherwise, we're going to get an echo, and I'm getting a big echo in the background. Uh, so, Raquel, where are you from? Raquel, your, your mic is muted. Raquel? Sorry, sorry. I hey, was, there I, we I was go. with a telephone call. Someone phoned me. Sorry. Oh, okay. Where so are you I'm, from, Raquel? I'm from Spain. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> Where in Spain? Toledo. Okay, excellent. Very good. Nice to have you. Um, and VU number one. Not the VU all the way on the right, but the VU in the middle. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Vietnam. From Vietnam. How do yes. I pronounce your name correctly? Is it Vu, like that? Vu. 
wo. So not wo, wo. but wo. Wo. Can so, you uh, so say again? Wo? wo? Yeah, yes. Uh, it's good? Yes, that's a word, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <Wo>? very good. <laughs> okay, and, and then there's another wo <laughs> on the <laughs> far right. Are you from Vietnam as well? Yes, I am from Vietnam too. You're but from my Vietnam too. But my last name is but my last name is Wu. But you can call me by my first name, Wang. Wang? Yeah. Okay. So I think it's um Ah okay, I see it now. I see it now. Huang. Huang. Got it. Very good, very good. All right. Listen everyone. We're gonna try to uh, we're gonna try to do several activities which are kind of a review of the first class but it doesn't matter if you were in the first class or not it doesn't matter because even if you're not here it's good practice and you're not going to you're going to learn whatever we learned in the first class okay so you don't need to have taken it right now I've posted a link in the verbling chat window actually let's post it in both chat windows okay so open that up and when you get it open, uh, by the way, Tao. Hi, Tao is joining us Hello. right now. Hi, Tao. How are you? Fine, thank you. Very good. Where are you from, Tao? From Israel. From Israel. Okay, very good. So, this class might be really good for you, Tao, because this is a sound which I don't think is easy to say in Israeli. I'm not sure. Well, well, well let's. We're, we're going to try. try we're gonna find out okay so open up that document that I just posted for you in the chat window on the right and when you open it this is the first page you see pronunciation basics if there's any problems opening it let me know no it's, all, it's okay all right okay on the second page you have all my contact information if you want it Google Plus, Verbling, Twitter, etc then you have the table of contents. Today's class is class number eight. You can either click on the link like this or just scroll down to page three. All right. So I'm going to assume everyone is on page three because here's the thing. If I share my screen with you, I can't see who's speaking. I can't see who's in the class. Okay, so I'm not going to share my screen with you. If there's any problems, just let me know. All right. So first of all, uh, the first class, we talked about the difference. We practiced the difference between two sounds, the long sound of, um, the long sound of E, the letter E, like A-E-I-O-U, and then the short sound of I. That's what we're going to do again today. We're going to get further practice with the short sound of I. Okay, so on page three, you've got two sets of words. What I want you to do is tell me if I'm saying the word on the right or the left. Okay, just to make sure that we're, we can hear the difference. Um, oh, this is going to be too easy. <laughs> Wait a second. Let, 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 let's do this a little differently. Uh, we've got, let's, let's say that we've got two columns, right and left, and we've got one, two, three, four, five rows. Two columns in five rows. So I'm going to say a word, and you're going to tell me which row it is, one, two, three, four, five, and whether it's the right or the left. Let's make this a little more challenging, okay? We'll do one together. If I say the word sheep, sheep, which row am I in, Anario? What do you think? Yes. Anario? Yes. Uh, on the left? Anario. Yes. Just Anario. Is a. Uh, do you have pronunciation? Just say one, two, uh, three, four, five. Which row? Uh, the, the first. Uh, the row one. Uh, right. Can, can repeat, please? <laughs> <laughs> Your answer was correct. Your answer was correct, Anario. I just want you to say it in. in a very short way because this is a quick exercise yeah. so if it's in the first row you can just say row one yes 
sheep. Okay, row one, right or left scenario? Sheep. Uh, the first column, the left. Left. Okay, so the short answer is row one, left. Just row that. One, left. Row one, left. Very good, very good. And you are correct. That's exactly what I was saying. All right. So I'm going to say some of these words randomly, and I'm going to call on you. You tell me which word I'm, I'm trying to say. Okay? So the next word is going to be uh, Raquel. Hill. Hill. Row, which... three, uh, row three, right. Fantastic. Wow. You've done this before, Raquel. <laughs> Raquel is a professional. The next word for Tal is seat. Seat um, is on the right. Which row? Uh, row two. Row two, right. Fantastic. Row two, right. Oh, we lost one of our vus. <laughs> we still got one vu. Oh, he's back again. Okay. <laughs> so, so, uh, Mr. Vu, Mr. Vu, which vu are you? See, I can't tell by looking at you which vu you are. I think you are vu hung, hung. Hung? Am I saying that right? Um, yeah. Okay, um, yeah. good. Okay, so I'm looking at page, what is it? Page three of our notes, of our shared doc, page three. Okay. Right? I'm going to say a word. You tell me which row it is and if it's on the right or left. The word is fill. The word is fill, Hung. So you tell me one, two, three, four, five, row one, two, three, four, five, right or left? Yeah, I got it. Okay. So the word is fill. Oh. Row four on is on the left. Fantastic. Ah. One, two, three, four. You're right. You're correct. Row four on the left. Okay, very good. Very good. And the other and I'm going I'm to call the other one Vu. <laughs> so we're going to yes. hang in Vu. Okay, so Vu. The last word is going to be sit. Sit. Uh, <clears throat> I think uh, row two uh, on the right. Very good. It's row two on the right. Vu, I want you to say the word in row five on the left. Go fire on the left. Can you uh, repeat uh, the please, word? Please say the word in row five left. Please say the word in row five left. Sleep. Very good. Uh, Anario, say the word on the right. Uh, sleep. Now say the word on the left and the right. The, the five rows and, yes. and, and on the right. Both the right and the left now. Uh, okay. Uh, sleep and sleep. Very good. Okay. Raquel, do right and left for row four. Okay. One second. Feel, feel. One more time, a little slower. Okay. Feel, feel. Okay, good. Remember, Here's the problem with Spanish, right? And it's the same in Italian, too. Um, like, if I have an Italian student, they'll always say, well, right? Meaning, ben, bueno, <laughs> well, allora. So the L is always too far back in the mouth for English. And Spanish is a little bit similar. And that's, and that's, so the vowel sounded good, but the L sounded like it was too far back. Listen to me. If I say feel, right, there's no L. I'm just saying feel. My tongue is floating in my mouth. Feel. So let's try it again. Feel, fill. Feel, fill. There you go. Make sure your tongue doesn't touch anything there. Okay. Because if it does, it'll sound actually, it will actually sound a bit strange. Very good. Let's try uh, Tao. Let's try row three, right and left. Heal, heal. Okay, one more time. 
Hill. Good. Hill. Okay, good. Hill, hill. A little faster. Hill, hill. Sounds good. I broke my heel running up the hill. Right, Tal? <laughs> I broke my heel. Um, I forgot. Running up. Running up the hill. <laughs> okay, very good. And Mr. Huang, try row two, right and left. Right and left? Yes. Sit and sit. I wonder if you could use them in a sentence together. Sit, sit. I wonder if you could use them in a sentence. Like, uh, okay. like... I, I am, okay, okay. I sit on the seat. <laughs> very good. I sit on the seat. Mm. Okay, very good, because I can really hear the difference now. Very good. Okay, and Vu, let's try the first row, right and left. Sip, sip. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Here the problem is sip. the the consonant. It's sh oh. Yes. Sheep. Sheep. Good. Can you use them in a sentence together? I put some sips on the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, sheep is already plural, so there's no S. I put some sheep on the ship. I put some sip on the ship. Okay, very good. Okay, so the words in the left column um, are what we call the long sound of E. Uh, if you go to the first class in our shared doc, you don't have to do it now, but go scroll down and you'll see uh, the phonetic symbol and you'll see some exercises for that. The words on the right side are the short sound of the letter I. What I'm saying here is that every vowel in English, let's say there are five vowels, A, E, I, O, U, every vowel has two sounds. The long sound, which is the same as the name. So the long sound of A is A. The long sound of E is E. But they also have a short sound, which is not really short. It's just what we call it. It's not exactly short. It's just different. A is A. E is E. I is I. So you actually have to learn two sets of sounds. A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, A, A. Those are the two sets of sounds. The long sound, A, E, I, O, U. Short sound, A, E, I, A, A. Does anyone feel brave and want to try that? A, E, I, A, A. A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, A, A. Huh? Who feels I brave? I I I <laughs> there you go. Very good. Like an expert. All right. Don't worry about all of that right now. We're just going to focus on the short sound of I, which is I. And you saw those examples. So let's go to the next page, page four. Okay. Listen and tell me if the words are the same or different. Let's see if you can hear the difference. Okay. Let me see if I have my answers here. One second. Uh, yeah, okay. So, I'm going to say the word. I want you to tell me if it's the same or different, but you're also going to have to tell me how to spell the word. So, it's a little bit challenging. Two words, okay? Two words. Anario, are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Number one is leave and leave. Actually, hold on a second. This is going to be a little bit confusing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine, fine, fine. So, <laughs> let me be clear. If the words are the same, you're only spelling one word. If the words are different, you're spelling two words. Okay, so I think it's clear now. Leave, leave. Did I say the same word or different words? Uh, I Can you say it again? Yes. Leave, leave. Is uh, is uh, two words uh, and one with the long e. Listen again. Leave, leave. Well, Same or different? Same. Same. 
<laughs> okay. Can you spell spell the word that I said? Spell it for me. <coughs> Sorry. L E A mm -hmm. V and E at the end. E, sorry. E, right, right, that's it. So I'm putting an S for the same, and I wrote it L-E-A-V-E. -E. Yes. Say, say it like that, L-E-A-V-E. -E. L-E-A-V-E. -E. Good. When you're spelling, try to group the letters the way that I do. L-E-A-V-E. -E. So the first one is three letters, L-E-A-V-E. L-E-A-V-E. -E. L-E-A-V-E. -E. Right, and they can run together, too, without taking a breath. L-E-A, together, V-E. L-E-A, L-E-A. There's L no sep... Yeah. L-E-A-V-E. -E. Good. Try to say it like that. It's good practice for when you have to spell your name or you're talking on the phone and you have to clarify something. All right. So far, so good. Raquel. Are you ready? Raquel, are you ready? Yes, I was ah, me. I take me one minute. Yes, tell me. <laughs> okay. So two words. Tell me if they are the same or if they are different. Sheep, ship. Sheep, ship. Different. Of course. D for different. Yeah. Spell, the, spell the first word. S-H-E-E-P. S-H-E-E-P, like that. S-H-E-E-P, E-E, E-E. 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 <laughs> and spell the second word? S-H-E-P. S-H-E-P? E. Like that? Look on page two no, of the... No, I, 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 sorry, I... Ah, okay, I, I, good. Good. S-H-I-P, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, who's up next? Mr. Tao. Mr. Tao, are yeah. you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Two words. Feel, fill. Feel, fill. Same or different? The first one is F-E-E-L. F-E-E-L, good. Yeah, and the second one is F-I-L-L. -L. Very good. F-I-L-L. -L. Say that again, F-I-L-L. -L. F-I-L-L. -L. Okay, good, good. So... I take back whatever I said before. I guess the, the, the vowel sounds are the same as in Hebrew because you sound fine to me. Do you have that sound? Do you have the sound I in Hebrew? Um, we, we used to uh, use E. Eh, like, eh. Okay, yeah, but you like don't have... The long one. E. Yeah, no, we have he. he. You, have, you have E, but you have I. E, like, yeah. Okay, so that's why. <laughs> All right, very good, very good. So, we're up to Mr. Mr. Huang. Are you ready? Mr. Huang, are you ready? Vu Huang? You're <coughs> muted. Turn on your mic. Mr. Huang, turn on your mic. Turn on your mic. Going once, going twice. Okay, I'm just getting... I'm skipping you because your mic is off. I can't hear you. Okay, Mr. Vu, are you ready? Um, yes, I'm ready. Here we go. So, two words. Tell me if they are the same or different. The words are sit, sit. Again, sit, sit. Same or different? Different. You heard different. They were the same. Uh-oh. <laughs> they were the same. <laughs> listen, listen, and tell me how to spell the word. Sit. Spell it for me. Sist. Uh, S. Mm -hmm. S. Uh, sit. S E T. S E T is written like this. S I T. S I T. Yeah, there we go. Good, good. So I said it twice. I said sit, sit. The same word. Can you hear the can you hear that it's the same sit sit mm, it's a uh, it's difficult to uh, uh, deny uh, um, the same or different <laughs> okay sometimes here's the difference 
I'm going to say two different words. Sit, S-I-T, seat, S-E-A-T. Sit, seat. So there you can hear the difference. Sit, seat, different. Sit, uh, yes. sit, same. So different, sit, seat, same, sit, sit. So you have yeah. to listen for the vowel sound. That's Maybe that's why it's difficult. Um, let's go back to Mr. Huang. Mr. Huang, your mic is off. Okay. So look. Oh, there we go. Okay. Good, good, good. Now you got it. Mr. Huang, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Two words. Tell me if they are the same or different. Sleep, slip. Again, sleep, slip. Uh, different? Very good. They are different. The first word is sleep. The first one is, uh, I can spell it, S L E B. Very good. And the second word is slip. And the uh, second word is S L I P. Very good. Perfect. Very, very good. Okay. And I think we're back to Mr. Anario for the last one. Anario, are you, are you ready? Uh, Oh, we've got someone new. Oh, uh, we've, we've got Islam. Hello, Islam. Welcome uh, to class. Hello, John. How are you doing? Good, I'm sorry good. I tried since the class began. I tried to join, but I believe there is a kind of problem with the Google Hangouts. There's always a with problem me. with Google Hangouts. Yeah, I, I can't join. I, I can't join the class, but right now it's work. Okay, that's, that's, that's all good. that matters. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, click on that link in the Verbling chat window and open the document, okay? Mm -hmm. And we are okay. on page uh, four. We're on page I'm already four. with you. I, I was watching. Oh, okay, 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 good. So I'll tell you what. If you're watching, you know where we are. Let's. Why don't you do the last one? Are you ready? You're going to tell me if these words are the same or different. Are you ready? Okay. Here they are. The uh, words, but yeah, okay. Let's just, just, yeah. Mm -hmm. just have to listen. Here they are. The words are heal and heal. Again, heal and heal. Same or different? No, it's the same. The same. Very good. Can you spell the word that I was saying? How do you spell heal? Heal. Um, H, uh, H E. Uh, H double E L and that's it. Heel, uh, uh, H that's it. That's all. That's what I was saying. Double. No, that's what I was saying. <laughs> heel. Okay. okay. If I said two different words, I could mm -hmm. say heel and hill, but okay. I didn't. I didn't say hill. I just said one word. Heel. Of course, you can also heal, like in medicine, which is H E A L, right? The verb to heal. That, yeah. that has the same pronunciation. Okay, very good, very good. So now let's go uh, to exercise three on page four. So we're still, I'm still going to test you, but we have a different activity here. Exercise three says, say the words below. Whoops, where are the words below? I didn't put them there. Say the words below. Your partner will invent an ending. Oh, hold on, I think you need to see these words. Wait a second. Give me a second, give me a second. Uh oh, I think I think I erased something here. Uh oh, wait a second. I need to give you a set of words. Um, okay, yeah. Let me just copy this. I think I erased the word. So I'm gonna put them back. Okay, so say the words below, which you'll see in just a moment. There you go. You should hopefully see them now. Say the words below. Your partner or the next person will invent an ending that makes the word make sense. Was it what you meant to say? So in number one, you've got two choices. Whichever word you choose, the next person has to invent a sentence so that it makes sense. Right? Okay. Let's, see, let's see if we can do this. I don't know if... Uh, maybe it's a little confusing. Let's see if we can try this together. So I think, Anario, you were the next in line? Yes. Okay. Um... I'm going to say the first sentence, 
you have to continue the story okay. by adding one sentence that makes that word make sense. Here's the, here's the one I'm going to choose. Number one, he isn't going to live, Anario. He isn't going to live. You have to add a sentence that makes it make sense. Maybe you could start with because. He isn't going to live, Anario. Because? Because... Uh, uh, He's going to to live to to go out. To go out? To go out where? No, because listen again. He isn't going to live. In other in other words, I I can I can use. The uh, two, two, three, four, five, or only two, two? No, 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 no. You're going to invent a new sentence. Ah, okay. Uh, and, and to make it easy, start with because. And uh, therefore, you have to give a reason. Because uh, 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 he's uh, going to the party. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's going to the party. Okay, the word that I said was live like this. So what's the problem there? See, the, I just wrote it there on page uh, on page four. I wrote live. He isn't going to live. Then, then, then this uh, sentence is wrong. He said, yes, is, it's wrong. <laughs> is no, it's wrong. No, is. Uh, <laughs> so let's try not again. Said, not said. Uh, he's going to live because because he's uh, go to the doctor. He's going to the doctor because he's going to the doctor or because he's sick. If you say because he's sick, it works. Because the opposite of live is die, mm -hmm. right? He isn't going to live because he's sick. That's it. It makes sense. Because he's going to a doctor, that means that he's traveling to the doctor. Well, we don't mean he's traveling. We mean that he's going to do the opposite of live, which is die. So, because he's sick. There you go. Okay, so, Anario, yes. I, want you, I want you to say number two for us, and, and Islam... Is is going to try to create a sentence to make your choice make sense. Okay. Islam. Mm -hmm. uh, try not to sleep. Try not to sleep. Um. Mm. If it's if it's easier, just keep using because. In other words, keep giving a reason. And okay. then, and then, Anario will tell you if your reason matches his word. Okay. Okay. Go for it, Islam. Because I have to work. <laughs> Anario, <laughs> did he choose the right word? Uh, no, it's the, no. the other. Uh, it's slip. Slip. Uh, slip. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Try not sleeping. Want to fix it, Islam? Uh huh. Okay. Because why? Mm, it's very difficult for me. I, I can't. Uh, because. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. Because All right. All right. Just just watch. Let's go. Let's go to Raquel. Raquel. You want me to continue? Okay, try not to sleep. The, the floor is wet. Yeah, because? The, the floor is wet. The floor is wet. Fantastic. That's it. The floor. And you can write it like this with the apostrophe S. The floor is wet. And that matches for slip. Very good. By the way, let's say a quick hello to Mr. Orhan. Hello. 
Hi, Orhan. How are you? Hi, thank you. Where are you from, Orhan? I'm from Turkey. Excellent. Nice to have you. Orhan, you have to open the link in the chat window so you can share our document, okay? I'm ready. I'm uh, okay, following good. you. Excellent. Very good. So, Orhan, listen to Raquel. She's going to read number three, and she's going to choose one of those words. Okay. You have to give a reason. You have to give a sentence that makes the word make sense. For example, uh, Anario said, try not to slip. So she said, because the floor is wet. So that justifies the use of the word slip. OK? Mm -hmm. So, Raquel, let's try number three. Yes. They want to buy a slip. I couldn't hear you. Say it again. OK. Yes, I can. They want to buy a seat. <laughs> OK. So, Orhan, because? Uh, let me to say, because they are working uh, on animal husbandry. <laughs> 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 no one in this, no one knows what animal husbandry is, but that's OK. <laughs> Do you think, so, ooh, someone's got a mobile phone, someone's got a mobile phone blaring into the microphone. Ooh, that hurt my ears. Raquel, did he guess right? Hey, listen, someone's got to move the mobile phone away from Orhan. Move your mobile phone away from the computer. Thank you. <laughs> well, I tried to, I tried to say the other word. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I tried, but I don't know what I pronounce. So you were trying to say it's S-H-I-P. Is that it? Uh-oh. But we both heard sheep. I heard the same thing. Okay, heard, so that's I, my, that was my problem then. Okay. I heard sheep too. So what do you think? In this case, I'm going to put this one in italics because we didn't have the right sentence. But that's a very good sentence. By the way, Orhan, can you explain what animal husbandry is? <laughs> uh, OK, the people uh, who are earning money from the... Uh, how doing, can I doing what? What do they do? <laughs> they, they get married to an animal? <laughs> it's so like this. Wow. This must be something in Turkey because I, we don't have it in America. Yeah, uh, they are buying and <laughs> selling animals. I ah, think. okay. They're buying and selling animals. Okay, there you go. Um, I think the word, the word is like breeding, right? Like when you breed animals, so the animals reproduce on your farm and then you sell them, something like that? Maybe breeding? Mm, maybe or not. I think. I, I, I'm not sure. Anyway, that was the okay. best that was the best sentence I've ever heard in a pronunciation class. <laughs> Thank Animal you. husbandry. Good word. Okay, Orhan, let's try let's try number four. Okay, Orhan, you're gonna read out number four. Okay. And, and Tal's gonna give us a reason for your choice, okay? Okay. Those hills or hills are yeah. very high. Yeah, yeah, you gotta pick one. <laughs> uh, those Hills are very high. Because, Tao? Uh, because... Um, let me think about something. It's, it's very high because the woman is short. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand how, but OK. <laughs> because the woman is short. What does that have to do with the heels? But OK, whatever. Uh, what do you think, Orhan? Did he did he understand right? Uh, I asked about the hills, not hills. Ah. All right. Ah. So, say those two words again, Orhan. Um, okay. The first one is hill, and the, and second? the second one is hill. They sound exactly the same to me. <laughs> Listen oh. to the first one. Listen to the first one. Heel. 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 It's like it's almost two syllables. He like he and she. Heel. Heel. And the second one, hill. Hill. That's it. That's okay. it. 
So, if it was the second choice, Tal, how would you change your sentence? Um. Remember, this is something you're looking at, right? If the hills are very high, because what do you see? This is very high because we, we um, I'm, I'm not, I don't have something to think about it. Um, think about what you see and what you don't see, because you're you're looking, right? So talk about seeing, because that's easy. The hills are very high because we can't see what. The, the, the I forgot the the the, the, the top. The, the the top of the hill? Okay, yeah. it's fine, because we can't see their tops, <laughs> the tops of the hills. Or we can't see, how about this one, we can't see over them. The hills are very high because we can't see over them. We can't see to the other side. Okay, let's try maybe, oh, we've only got two more. Let's try them both. So number five, Mr. Tao. All right. Uh, did you feel the gla glass? Say that one more time because I can't tell which word you're saying. One more time. Did you feel the glass? Okay. I think I got it. <laughs> so, we're going to go with Mr. Huang. This one's not that easy. Because, Huang, why do you think uh, he's I'm saying here. that? Uh, uh, I like to um, feel, feel. Yeah, give us a sentence so that uh, it makes sense. Because, okay. I'm asking this because. Did you feel the glass? Because it was transparency. Because it was, say again, it was? Transparency. Not sure I understand. Wanna, can you write the word for me? I thought, okay. you, were saying, I thought you were saying transparent. Ah, oh, of transparent. In other words, it's difficult to see. Is that what you mean? Do you mean, look in the chat window. Do you mean transparent? Like, whoops, sorry, I spelled it wrong. Do you mean transparent like that? Yes. By the way, I... S oh, what's going on with my spell check? Oh, it's in Portuguese, that's why. I did spell it right. Okay, what do you think, Tal? Does that make sense? Because it's transparent. Transparent. What is it, transparent? Transparent means you see through it. Um, I'm not 100% sure I understand what Huang is trying to say, but I yeah. think I understand. I think I got the idea. I think he's trying to say that if you're looking at the table, you might not be able to see the glass because it's transparent. So, instead of looking at it, you have to feel around the table to find it. So, is that the idea, Tao? Feel. All right. I'll say yes. Okay, fantastic. Mr. Huang, you are correct. <laughs> because it's transparent and difficult to see. Maybe let's add a little bit there just to make it make more sense. Uh, for example, if I'm blind, I'd have to feel the glass. I wouldn't be able to see it, right? That would be a clear reason. Mr. Huang, let's try the last one now. Uh, we're on number what? Number six. And Mr. Vu, you're going to do the reason for us. Okay, Huang, go ahead. Uh, do you want to see next uh, beautiful girl? Uh, uh, wait a second. You're adding too much information. Just choose the word on the left or the word on the right. Say the sentence and choose one word. Uh, I choose the word number. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't tell. Don't, 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 blah, 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 blah. don't tell us. Just. <laughs> Huang, just say the sentence, choose the word, uh, okay. and the okay. next person is going to try to guess which word you're saying, okay? Uh, okay. Sit. Say the whole sentence. I, I, number six. 
number six. Yeah, sit. number six. I choose sit. Yeah, but you got to say the sentence, Mr. Huang. <laughs> number six is, do you want... Say the whole sentence. We're on number six, exercise three, on page four of the shared doc. Page four of the Google doc, exercise three. Do you see where yeah. we are? So, I'll tell you what. Just watch. Mr. Vu, are you there? Vu? Vu? Mr. Vu, your microphone is muted. Unmute your microphone, please. Oh, wait, maybe he went out. Okay, never mind. I think he went out. We're back to Mr. Anario. Mr. Anario. Are you there? Okay. Uh... Oh, the problem there is that that's too easy. Look at number six. That's way too easy because it's got a seat and two sit. Oh, that's just too easy. You know what, Mr. Anario, we're going to skip it because that's just way too easy. We're, we're way beyond that. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Instead of that, let's try something else. Um, if you go down to page five, I don't know if we're going to have time to do both activities, but let's try one last one at least. There's a dialogue, but in order to fill in the, the dialogue, we first have to get the hang of those short I sounds. So you're just, we're going to just take a turn. Everyone's going to take a turn listening and repeating, but Anario, you're going to go first. Listen and repeat these words with the sound I. In words with more than one syllable, the stress syllable is in bold. Okay, so we're on page five. I'm going to say a few words. I want you just to repeat them. They're going to be random words, but they're all in the list on page five. Do you see where we are? Exercise one dialogue on page five? Yes. Okay, good. So listen, listen, listen and repeat. And, and I want you to tell me one, two, three, four, five, six. I want you to tell me which... Uh-oh, someone's got their mobile phone by the computer. Uh-oh. I want you to tell me which column the word is in. The first word is 15, Anario. <clears throat> 15. Repeat. 15. Which column is it? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, or six? One, two, three, four, five, or six? Six. Absolutely. Very good. Can you repeat the explanation between uh, he and he, like... He and I. You understand that the how you say double he, how, how it sounds different, double he and just I. So in the word heel, H E E L, right? All right. It's heel. It's almost two syllables. It's almost two syllables. It's not, but it's almost heel. If you say it, if you say it slowly. Heel, he e e e e e. Put right. it together, e e e. Right. One alone is just the second sound that you heard. Instead of he ill heel heel, it's just the ill part. E e ill e. And so, fifteen is the e. It's either long e, or in the case of heel, it's an E and an I together. Why does it sound like an E and an I together in heel? Because there's an L and it's just a natural, it's a natural diphthong, meaning two sounds, because of the L. In 15, there's no L, there's no reason for us to put an I, I sound. So it's just a long E, 15, 15. Um, Islam, I'm going to give you another one. This one is 50. 50. Which 50. column am I on on page 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6? 50. 50. Um, 2. Column, column 2? Mm. 50? Column 2 into 50? Column mm. 2? <laughs> no, column oh, no. 5. Column 5. Islam, tell me another word in column five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ticket. Where are you reading ticket? That's column four. 
That's column four. <laughs> Next one over. Next one over. To the right. Um, listen. Very That's good. That's column five. So do you see the word 50? Uh-huh. Okay. So I want you to say 50 in column five, and I want you to say 15 in column six. 50, 15. 50, 15. Very good. So what's the difference? Uh, 50. It's, it's <laughs> do, you, do you want me to explain the difference between 50 and 15? Where is the stress? Is the stress right. on the first okay. or second? No, in 15 and uh, uh, in the second. And on the second. Uh, yeah. Correct. And 50 on the first. Okay, very good, very good. Tao, the word, yes. I the word is miss. Which column? Fifth. Fifth column, number five? Mm, you can say it again. The word is miss. Miss. Uh, it's three. It has to be three, right. I want you to say these two words together. Miss in column three, and the other word in column four that means almost the same thing. What's the word on top of column four? Well, sorry? I don't know what, what say the word on the top of column four. Um, column four. On top. On top. Uh, mi Mrs. Yeah, that's right. Mrs. Good. Mrs. Mrs. It, it's, spelled, it's spelled M-R-S, but in fact it's pronounced Mrs. Mrs. So Miss and Mrs. I just wanted to hear you say those two words. They both have the short I sound. Mrs. and Miss. Okay. So I think everyone has an idea of what these words are. I don't want to run out of time before we have a chance to do the dialogue. So let's go down to page six. You're going to use one of those words to complete the dialogue on page six. Two friends have a plan to see a film. So let's see if we can fill in the whole dialogue uh, on page six. Um, so let's start with, let's go with Mr. Orhan. I want you to start. Uh, I'm going to read Ms. Mrs. Kim, and you're going to read Cindy and try to fill in the the missing word. Are you ready? Uh, yes, I, I'm the Mrs. Kim. Or? No, you're 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 going to read Cindy. Cindy, okay. Okay, we're, we're, everyone's going to get a line, so you're going to be the first. So Cindy is ringing the doorbell. Mrs. Kim says, "Hello, Cindy," and Cindy says, "Hi, Mrs. Kim. Is William in?" Is he coming with me to the film? I picked up a... Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> All the words are on page five. Just scroll up. One of okay. those words. I picked up I picked a... It, I picked uh, up a tickets for him. Ticket for Fan him. Fantastic. Very good. Mrs. Kim says, Oh, William's, William's sick. So, Raquel... What does Cindy say? Okay, here he is. Hi, William. Are you... Huh? Are you sick? Are you sick? Very good. That's correct. Very good. So, I lost my page. Hold on a second. So, hello? I hear Vietnamese. <laughs> I don't want to hear Vietnamese right now. Uh, and then William... Am I Vietnamese or am I hearing? I'm hearing Mohammed. Mohammed is speaking Arabic, not Vietnamese. Sorry. Mohammed, I'm sorry I'm muting you because I'm hearing Arabic. And this is English class. Okay, we've got just a minute left. Mr. Huang, what, um, yeah. does, what does William reply after Cindy says, Are you sick? So we're on page six. Okay. And Cindy okay. says, Here he is. Hi, William. Are you sick? What does William say? Okay, let me see. And all of your words are on page five. If you want to choose from those from those words, 
They're on page five. Okay, I choose interesting. Very good. Say the whole sentence for us. What film is? What film is this? Anything interesting? Very good. Mr. Vu, what does Cindy reply? Mr. Vu, what does Cindy reply? Your mic is muted, Mr. Vu. Turn your mic back on. Oh, he think he's gone. <laughs> Mr. Islam, what does Cindy reply? It is uh, King Kong. And... Uh, it in. It's a it's begin uh, it's begin in fifty minutes. That's right. That's correct. Listen to me on the pronunciation. It's King Kong. It's King King Kong. Right. Not it is. It's. Okay. okay. And it begins in fifteen minutes. Say the whole thing. It is. It is it's, King. It's King. It's, it's King Kong, and it begins in fifteen minutes. Very good, that's it. And what does William reply, Mr. Anario? Uh, 50 minutes, come in and sit down. <laughs> Very good. And Cindy says, not 50, 15. What does Mrs. Kim say? Who's next? Mr. Huang, what does Mrs. Kim say? Mrs. Kim say... Come in and sit down. Next. Next line. Next line. Mrs. Uh, Kim, listen. Uh, okay. Do you see it, Huang? I, I see, it, but no. Okay. Listen, William, if you are sick, I don't think. Very good. And then she cuts him off. And then finally, Anario, what does William say? Um, listen, William. Wait, wait. Uh, 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 William replies. Uh, uh, William replies. Quick. Um, or, well, miss, then. We wheel. 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 Good. Wheel. Miss uh, the. Blank of the field. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> uh, uh, you. <laughs> will uh, the begins. Uh, ah, well, okay. Or uh, will miss the beginning of the field. Very good. Okay, we have to stop the class, but before we go, let me read the whole dialogue. Later, you can go to my YouTube channel, listen, and you'll see the correct answers. Plus, you can practice along. Getting a lot of noise in the background. So everyone mute your microphones for just a minute. And I'm going to read the whole dialogue now. OK? Everyone mute. Here we go. Mrs. Kim. Hello, Cindy. Cindy. Hi, Mrs. Kim. Is William in? Is he coming with me to the film? I picked up a ticket for him. Mrs. Kim. Oh, William's sick. Cindy. Here he is. Hi, William. Are you sick? William. What film is it? Anything interesting? Cindy. It's King Kong, and it begins in 15 minutes. William. 50 minutes? Oh, come in and sit down. Cindy. Not 50 minutes, 15. Mrs. Kim. Listen, William. If you're sick, I don't think... William. Quick, or we'll miss the beginning of the film. So, there you go. So there was a little misunderstanding about the time. OK, everyone, we're going to have to stop here. I'm actually late for my next class, so I really have to go. Remember, you can follow me on Verbling or Google Plus or Facebook. And I'll tell you what, if you want those links, you can click on any of these links right here in the chat window to get in touch with me. I'll be back tomorrow at the same time for another pronunciation class. Tomorrow is going to be a pronunciation practice class where we use a scene from film or television for you to practice along with and we analyze it. That's it for now. I'll be back in a minute to start the next class, which will be a business class. Um, well, come back if you want to join us for Business English. See you next time, everyone. Bye for now.
Sen kıyam. Bye. Bye.